The gentleman from uh, Missouri, Mr. Cleaver, is recognized for as much time as he wishes to use. Uh, thank you, uh, first, Mr. Murphy, and, uh, and to the chair, uh, ranking member, and the chairman of the committee. Uh, our amendment would transfer a modest amount, uh, as Mr. Murphy stated, $1 million between the Corps, in, the Corps' expenses account to the construction account. The boost in funding can help flood control projects that communities, including several in my district, uh, that we are pushing in hopes that they can be completed. Uh, the United States has, as I believe we all know, an aging water infrastructure system and a colossal $80 billion backlog of Army Corps projects. Over 1,000 authorized projects vigorously compete for funding. This is understandable when you consider the fact that America's levees, levees dams, and inland waterways were given a grade of D by the American Society of Civil Engineers in their 2013 report card. And how can we expect our economy to flourish when its bedrock is deteriorating? Water infrastructure funding is vital to my district, and it sits on the confluence uh, of the several rivers, uh, and flood control projects protect thousands of lives and billions in economic investment. One such project, Swope Park Industrial Area, lies within one, a 100-year floodplain. When it floods, access to and from the park is cut off, risking the lives of over 400 workers. Without a 7,000-foot flood wall and levee, those 400 workers and over $61 million in manufacturing remain unprotected. Another project in my district, Dobson Industrial Park, is ready to start its final phase, but until that final segment is completed and connected, the rest of the project, the investment of $250 million within the park, remain at risk. Mr. Chairman, uh, most Army Corps projects contain agreements between the federal government and local communities to share the funding and responsibilities for their construction. It is time for the federal government to hold up its end of the agreement for us to step up to the plate and fully invest in our water infrastructure. I want to thank Mr. Murphy for his collaboration on this amendment, and I yield back, Mr. Speaker. Gentleman yields back.